Welcome to another review of XM Studios Iron Spider and here's the prints. And here's the base, a little bit of circle and all its detail and all its glory. So basically I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on this statue. So uh for some reason it looks very it's heavy, dude. I was surprised how heavy it was. Um the base uh, just the engineering surprises me. Just, you know, how the Iron Spider was actually going to connect to one of those claws right there, which is pretty impressive. Um, yeah, man, the detail, the, everything. We look at the statue, you're like, man, dude, this is a, this is a home run for me. Uh, I was so excited when I first saw this because I'm a big comic book fan. Most of my collection comic book. And... Um, yeah, I wasn't going to pass this one up. And I saw that candy apple red paint job right there on it, dude. I was like, okay, dude, I'm sold on this. So, yeah, the, the only the assembly was pretty easy. It, the only thing that got me tricky was the arms. They're a little bit hard. You have to come in at a certain angle. And, you know, you don't want to break them. You don't want to break the statue either. But I was able to get them in. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, there's not too much to say about this statue, man. It just, it's an amazing piece of engineering. It's a heavy piece. Um, here it is. And it's all its glory. It's final place for right now until I move everything around. But as you see, I got the Taskmaster in the back, which I have a video on. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 behind there. But yeah, man. this is a, I recommend this is a must-have. You don't want to get this on the aftermarket either, so... Thank you for watching. Goodbye.